What's happening, my beautiful people out there in the fragrance world? Welcome to PR Sense. My name's Jose, and like I always tell you guys, here you'll find reviews for the common men and ladies at not too expensive prices. So, last week I did a review on Halloween Man Shot, which I really, really like. Very nice. And I also ordered Halloween Man X, and I got that Friday, so I've been trying it and trying it and trying it. So if you're interested in why, what I have to think about Halloween Man X, stick around and I'll see you guys in a second. Thanks guys. So like I said, today we're talking about Halloween Man X. Um, I know I'm late in the game on this one. This one has been around since 2019, so it's about four years now. Um, it got reviewed a lot like two, three years ago when it first came out. Everybody seems to like it a lot. So I'm like, let me get it and see what I think about it. Now, I got a tester. So, um, you know, same bottle, full and everything else. I like, I really like the bottles. I like that dark to blue kind of gradient. Um, the cap is, is okay. And then the atomizer is nice. I really like the atomizer. And the scent is very, very nice. I won't show you the box because, you know, you get testers. You order testers, you usually get them in a white box. So, uh, but at least I got the cap, which is really cool. Um, so this came out in 2019. It is an EDT, not an Eau de Parfum. I wish it was an Eau de Parfum. It's considered an Amber uh, Fougere. And I like it a lot. Um, it's, it's very, very nice. It's a different kind of scent. I, I wouldn't say it's unique. Some people compare it to Salvatore Ferragamo's Womo. Um, I haven't smelled that one yet either. I need to try, try my hand on that one. Now it's got top notes of cardamom, lavender, and lemon. It is citrusy at the very beginning. Now don't smell it you know, give it a few seconds before you start smelling it. But when you do start smelling it, you get that cardamom and that lemon, but very, very light. It's not super citrusy, okay? But as it starts drying down, that's when it gets to, to be what it it's known for, okay? And its its creator created this, this scent profile, this note profile called Blackjack. And what Blackjack includes is roasted coffee, whiskey, and leather, all right? And so that's what this has in it in the mid, all right? It also has mineral notes, which gives it a, what he wanted to, to project as a concrete and, and mineral kind of feel, all right? So what I get the most out of it after it starts to dry down is a huge roasted coffee kind of scent. Um, the best I can explain to you is if you open up a, a bag or a can of coffee, not ground coffee, but just regular coffee beans, that's kind of what it smells like. It's that roasted, really good, rich kind of coffee scent. Very, very nice. But, and, and that's what you smell a lot of is that roasted coffee. I, I let Brenda smell it and she goes, I smell coffee. And that's what you smell. As it starts to dry down even more and it, it gets to, to the base, you get a very kind of, to me, a little creamy vanilla sweet coffee kind of scent. Now in the base, what it has is coffee bean, amber, and incense. So it gets a little smoky as well, but always with that roasted coffee. So if you don't like roasted coffee, don't get this because you're not going to like it. But it, it, it is a very nice, unique kind of scent. I, I really enjoy it. Yeah, I enjoy it. Um, it's also, it also has cinnamon bark in it. So it gives it a little, a little kick, if you will. Um, really nice. Now, it's, it's got moderate longevity and moderate sillage. That's the only complaint I, I have about this as well as, as shot. It's, it's longevity is not as long as I'd like, but... You know, you wouldn't call it beast mode. Let me just put it that way. Um, but the scent is is extremely, you know, it's 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 appealing. It's a nice fall, spring, winter kind of scent. I would say probably better off at night than during the day. But again, wear it whenever you want. I've worn it during the day. I've worn it to work. Um, I've gotten one compliment on it so far. 
but to me it becomes more of a skin scent after a few hours um but you know if you smell yourself you can always smell that roasted coffee it's it's always there um so i, I really really enjoy it it's slightly sweet it's got that roasted coffee kind of scent and it's got a little booziness to it because it does have that whiskey in it as well. But the booziness is not, not super prominent. Like I said, the coffee is what's super prominent in it. And the sweetness, like a sweet coffee. Not like a frappuccino or a cappuccino kind of, kind of feel. It's like a straight coffee bean kind of scent. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, do I like it? I really, really do. Like I said, I just wish it lasted a little longer. Who can wear this? I think it's made more for male than female. I don't think it's a it's a female kind of scent. Um, and I think I think anybody can get away with this. Young, old, you know, younger, you be a little bit careful because you know I I don't know, but um, definitely if you're in your twenties or so, you can definitely get away with this. Um, and I paid about twenty nine dollars on Joma Shop, so. Again, you know, not too, too expensive. So, you know, do I recommend it? Is it Jose Coffee worthy? Yes, it actually is. But I give it like a 75% Jose Coffee worthy because to me, on my skin, the longevity. I wish it lasted a little longer. I wish it was a little stronger. Um, if they ever come out with an EDP, I probably would get it. Um, and I believe that with the Halloween Man line, um, Halloween Man X and Halloween Man Shot are the two most popular ones uh, between those two. So if you want to try a Halloween Man fragrance, those two would be the ones I recommend. Definitely Jose Coffee Worthy. I really, really like them. Mm. So guys, that's my take on this. Roasted coffee. A little bit of that concrete feel, which it gives it a little roughness to it, okay? Now, a lot of people in comments and everything else say it smells synthetic, you know, they don't like it, you know, but then a lot of people say, I love it. It's a great scent. So you may hate it. I may love it. It just depends. But I'm telling you, I, I really enjoy it. Give it a shot and, you know, and go from there. Now, I am trying to figure out what to do next. I was trying to do uh, 10 date night fragrances for the fall and winter, or just 10 fragrances that I'm wearing now for the fall and winter. Um, give me some suggestions, guys. What, which ones should I, should I do? What, what would you like to see? Um, I've got about 300 fragrances, a lot of them are clones. So if you're interested in certain clones, throw them out there. I'm trying not to repeat what everybody else is doing um, as far as, you know, talking about, you know, the, the the common ones that everybody talks about. So I was trying to think of something to do where I I go back to a lot of the ones that nobody talks about that much anymore and do uh, 10 fragrances that I am still wearing based on that. So give me some suggestions. Tell me what you guys think. Anyway, I hope this video was worth, for, worth it for you. Uh, if it was, please do me a favor. Please like, please subscribe, please comment. And as always, guys, you guys know what to do. You be safe, you be loved, and I will talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.